All right, folks, Rose Schlem here in the basement of Storm. We've got a challenge match for you. I've got a USB-C Hall of Famer, and I got a future PBA Hall of Famer. We're gonna go optimum idle style here to start. So we're gonna go, let me get, get a little breakdown here. So we're gonna go four total rounds. The first two rounds, we're gonna go optimum idle. The last two rounds, in case you're keeping score at home, attention star. Each round, three shots. And they're gonna alternate shots. We're gonna, they're gonna bowl in lane one. No strikes is gonna win that round. If there is a push, we are going to carry that over to the end. I already kind of know there's a little smack talk going on because Simon's like, oh, dude, that's cool. I didn't even get a shot on lane one. So SK here has got the home field advantage on top of bowling here almost every day. Simon's like, yeah, that's all right. I, I feel sorry for the guy. It's, you know, you know, you know how kids are, right? Well, hey, you know, all, folks, I, I, all I was told is never feel sorry for a Hall of Famer. So. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. So with that, you seen you're the visitor. You know, you got home field advantage, obviously. So the visitor- And I'm gonna need it. So. <laughs> you gotta need it. So I've got a coin here. We're gonna see who starts this little challenge match. So you ready? Yeah, I'll take Tails. Tails. It is Tails. That's Tails. It's Tails. All right, so you wanna start or you wanna finish? This is like the NFL, you wanna I mean, start normally, or finish? Normally I like, I like to start. I like putting the pressure on, but like, yeah. I'm gonna let Steve go first so he can line me up throughout the day. Oh, perfect. When Steve moves, I move. A little strategery going on already. Haven't even thrown a shot yet. So, let's get into this first round. Give it balance. Oh! That's half. Oh! That's half. Hey now. I think that was too long of a break. Sean. I, I was gonna say that was. That was just about like, minus uh, a mile an hour. Man, that was almost like bowling league. Like yeah. you had the little, you had the <laughs> rain delay in between. So we'll see if Simo can uh, capitalize off the uh, the time off. See if he's loosened up and ready to rock. Hey now. Oh. Woo. All right. All right. All right. So through one shot. We've got a five count and a nine count, meaning we got zero zero on the board. So the format kind of plays to my advantage, basically you're saying. Yes, sir. So you're saying there's a so chance. So you're saying there's a chance. All right, a little firmer this time. Get it down there. Whoa, there hey. we go, baby. Woo. Whoa, little come high, on now. A little high flush, that's better than five. Home field advantage puts one on the board. See what the future Hall of Famer, the future PBA Hall of Famer has got in the bag. Think he's going to make an adjustment off the first shot? I'm going to move a couple to the right. Okay. And maybe not miss that far left. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> ten back, ten back. So two yeah. shots in. We're tied at one. That was the we'll natural. See, we'll see what we got. We got a pressure cooker here coming down to the final shot of round one. That was my normal tour move. I, you're going to make a move on tour, you're going to move left. I was like, wait a second, we actually got to move our feet the opposite way here. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right. That last one crept up a little bit, so I'm going to make another, another little move left. All right. I think we saw that. I think we're gonna have video footage of that one, but in case you're keeping score at home, that was a strike with, I think there was three or four left on the deck. <laughs> it was but they a all strike. fell down, so that counts as an X. So SK has got two X's in the first round. We'll see if Silo can step up the time. Whoa, right. I can back. get out of here with the tie, that'll work. Vacuum. What, how big of a move did y'all make in, the, in those couple, just those couple minutes? Yeah, well, Shots. basically the last one, and the, the second shot I had was high flush, uh, but it was definitely creeping up there. So I moved a couple more to the left, and then I got a little bit firm, and it kind of just went through a little bit, okay. but I got lucky. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. And then you, you cheated a little bit left, and then you missed left. Yeah, right? after his first ball, yeah, yeah. Uh, when I was watching him warm up, he didn't do that. 
Um, so I made sure to not go high. Uh, and then the next move, we just inch back a couple boards to the right, and that'll be the home for the next few shots. Okay, so you did inch back right then on that third shot? Um, just uh, after the first shot. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, so there you go, a little inside. You know, everybody kind of has moves different, and exactly what Simo said, you know, he moves something like this is totally different than what you do on tour. You know, because, and again, we're talking drastic differences based on rev rates and all the chaos that happens on the tour level and you know you've bowled some senior tour stuff granted it doesn't happen out there but the kids tour man you bowl these guys and my man's not even like a I super, don't, he's not I, even I, super I, don't, I don't think i might have to play six zero today like, no, <laughs> right, right. I, think we're okay. I, I don't think we're gonna get into that lot launch zone kind of thing so right. but uh, anyway there you have it there you are round one done moving on to round two uh-oh <laughs> so that, in case you didn't see that, that was a 410 with a messenger in that front of the four. Both of them. It was in front, in front of the, but in front came in front of the four. So that is also the product of the environment, and also, um, you know, it's one thing too. Twister pins do have a tendency to fly; they bounce around a little bit, and that's something that's always kind of been a thing since they came out. Um, yeah. So uh, wow, SK. Yeah. Uh, they, they say the brakes even out, and. Steve had a break, and now Steve's break has been taken away. Okay, so the, the kids got to see if he can capitalize, take full advantage. Ooh, boom, shakalaka. Tried to sneak the seven in there. So, you know, that right there, I, I mean, you know, like I said, Simon actually made that move. You know, the, the second shot of that first round, you know, he cheated left, and then they missed left. But now edge back right, and he's got that little spot. SK's got his eyes, yep. eyes wide open. Yep. He's like, okay, how do I fit it back into that little spot there? So, see what, what are you going to make the move off of that, that last shot? Well, the last one I had that was kind of, it was in, it was kind of in the oil, okay. right? So I, gotta, I feel like I need to shape it just a little bit better, yep. make sure I catch a little bit of the dry, and then try to, sh to get it back. Uh, I think that's going to that's gonna be the key for me. Okay. So we'll take, uh, see how this shakes out. That's a good one, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Fast rack, thank you, a fast, fast rack. rack. Fast thank rack, you. he says. Oh. And, you know, I would say, if there was probably Woo. another... Yeah, if you get oh, another, that was another, a probably, strike. another probably eight Two. seconds, that was coming forward. Oh. That would have been a trick. Simon's like, thank you, fast rack. Um, hey, you guys set it up that way, not me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm the visitor here. I didn't do, I don't set that up. So, and Simo, as much as you throw an idols, have you seen so far through a few shots, have you seen any difference? I mean, similarities to the OG I, idol, right? I mean, I think they're really close. Uh, okay. Just, it's the, the added version. I was having got to throw in a competition, but this yeah, yeah. was one that uh, obviously excited. It says idol on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's hard for me not to get excited when I see that. Right. But I threw it down the lane and instantly was like, that's the OG shape. Yeah, you know? yeah. And as it is, everything nowadays is just getting a little stronger than it used yep, to be. Yep. Um, so I'm really excited. I don't think it's going to be far off from the OG, and I'm sure I'll be pulling a bag or two around with me on tour. Right, right, right. You know, and that was kind of the goal, like I said. It was uh, getting that part back in circulation, but, you know, adding the AI technology, which, again, like we talked about, we were joking about before, but, man, a little bit of the carry, maybe the, uh, the, the, the couple on the deck that Steve had earlier, you know, we've, the study proves that AI technology does add to your carry percentage. So, you know, there's a little something to it. So I'm going to move my feet one back to the left here. Okay. Uh, I love the idol. <laughs> <laughs> my man says he loves the idol. So, uh, what are we? Yeah. That was. Uh, that's two nothing. That's so two nothing. That means. So does that I get a practice just, shot here if we, I'd we, like. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give SK another practice. We'll, we'll give SK practice, practice shot. shot Although round. Um, you know, because it's one of those deals yeah. that yeah, he's kind of he can't catch up this can't round. Catch. So, you know, it was. Uh, it was a val. It was a valid try. A valiant try. Valiant. You know, and, uh, valiant effort. Valiant effort there, sir. <clears throat> There you go. There you go. And that was cheating back probably a little bit. It's one of those things, SK, so that last shot, like you said, yeah. it, it looks like you cheated back a little bit. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Made sure I got the ball to the, get to a little friction and then gave it a little room to, to hook back and it did its job. Yeah, so I think one thing we want to talk about too, and, and you kind of mentioned it earlier off camera, um, and SK, you've thrown a phase two a lot. Yeah. 
motion-wise, uh, and, and I'm a, I think you threw an OG idle back in the day. Sure. But, yeah. You know, obviously, I think best compared to what we have now with Phase Two. Yeah. What do you see in like Summit? You know, what do you, what do you see like fitting in that gap with these three? Yeah. Well, the Summit's a little bit earlier for yeah. me. It's the strongest of the three. Yep. The Phase Two gets down the lane for me, but has a little bit more shape. For me, the idle in general here in this Optimum Idle yeah. is going to be the most kind of a predictable, reliable. Uh, one that responds to how you want to play the lanes, like if you want to kind of trap the pocket a little bit more yeah. or if you want to get softer and open your angles, okay. it allows you to do everything. All right. Uh-oh. 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 Got it in. Uh-oh. Woo. It's more we'll fun when you it goes because, you know, both of these guys, you know, ah. we use Optum Idle, which is micro tracks which has some nanotechnology in it, um, which obviously creates a little bit of traction, starts to pull and move that oil around. So this cleaner cover with the E-Trax the e Plus, these guys are gonna have to slide in a little bit, a little bit bigger engine. So we'll see what the adjustments are, see if you can navigate the transitions. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? <laughs> Look at that. You got my attention. Yeah, how big, got of, how my big attention. of a move did you make there? I, I moved three left and tried to throw it just a pinch slower. Okay. Is that good information, Simon, or is that, is that, is that a number you want me to believe? I mean, that's good info. That's what I did. Now He said three, I, but it, may, I, it actually might have been 13. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you just kind of take with that what you will. <clears throat> We'll see if SK can make the adjustment off the play. Right. Does he like it? Oh. Uh, all these he's, messengers he's getting, I'm going to have to put my thumb the in SK throwing messengers it. forward. You know, just the 410 goes in front of it, that one. I mean, that one's actually coming at me. I don't know, I mean, they're bouncing around all over. For so, one of us. For one of you, yeah. So, we'll see this. Can he, can he seal the deal this third round? Oh Does boy. he like it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Splits the 8-9. Man, oh man, that Sorry, is buddy. two <laughs> no, no, no. nothing. And that is uh, advantage Simonson. So I, I'm undefeated. I, he's undefeated. I, I'm so, not liking this, but I'm going to take another practice I, shot. <laughs> I was going to say, we're going to give him the, the gracious uh, the practice shot. Man. Seems like I don't want to do this. But I do not want to keep man, doing I don't this. Do this. So man. We're down to, uh, yeah, we'll get to the final round here, but uh, yeah, we'll let SK navigate what he's got going on. Oh, now, there you now go. They fall. When it's not needed, right? There you go. Now they fall. Were you guys surprised that you could actually get a little bit deeper than you could with the Optimum? I mean, I think that's, that's one of the things that I think the folks at home, when you think about it, you're like, oh, I'm going to get a cleaner cover. Maybe I don't have to go left. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to go through that spot. I was, but you guys are both like, oh, hey, I need to jump left. Yeah, I was a little iffy. I mean, I definitely knew the ball was going to get to the front part of the lane. Yeah. But as you mentioned, the change of direction down lane uh, is much more drastic. Yeah. So uh, for me, I was fortunate enough to take a good guess. Um, and I think that is the one that surprised me with as clean as the ball was. And yeah. for me, when I see a ball that clean, it, my eyes kind of light up for the fact that I panic a little bit right. with my high, high ball speed that it's not going to hook. Right. Uh, we've had no issues with that, and I don't think there will be any issues moving yeah, forward. Yeah, okay. And see, you do the same kind of thing. Yeah. And you and I were chatting off camera. It's one of those deals of, you're like, oh, hey, I see this motion. Man, it kind of just lets me just kind of keep chasing it left, chasing it, it left. Was I mean, e and it was easy to see. I think that first shot I had that went through the face, I mean, all that hook was all down lane. Right. Like it was all clean and then just a quick change of direction, you know, and so it's a matter of kind of getting lined up to that. But yeah, if you're looking for something to be strong on the back end, down lane ball motion, I mean, it's ball And, and that's not to say that, it, I guess that's not one of those things, I, I, I don't want to mis mis misinterpret, you know, or mis but got anybody, you know, the fact that because it may be in league, it could be the deal that you start league with your optimum idol and man, it just starts to be a little too early. You might be able to ball up to your attention star and it's just going to get through that spot cleaner. But in the case of what these guys are bowling on, the pattern we're bowling on, and obviously the quality of shots and stuff like that, it's like, oh, hey, you know, it, again, it's not always the mentality of cleaner cover. 
man, I probably need to go like four or five left. I mean, that, that's usually not the case. You know, that's right. that's kind of a different uh, synopsis. And even like you mentioned earlier, back in like the earlier rounds of the tour moves to, oh, wait a second, I'm not on tour. You know, then you, you kind of had to shuffle backwards. So, yeah, so we got, uh, we got through three rounds, in case you're keeping score at home, it's this guy's, yeah, well, yeah, he's kind of, kind of. He's wanted. owning it. The he's hospitality kinda, here is he's great. Owning it. <laughs> My man says the hospitality. He's like, man, the home field advantage guy is giving me. Yeah, he's really yeah, nice to me right yeah. now. <laughs> so, all right, let's get in round four and let's sweeten the pot. What, uh, what do you say? I mean, you're you're clearly in hand. So, is it the case of it's still going to be? So this round should be worth two, right? Because I was going to say the first one was a push, oh, giving the tie opportunity. It's worth two. Yeah, yeah. yeah this round's so make worth this, two. Make this a, yeah. a, a double pointer. Yeah. So let, let's. That's you fair. down with that? You, you okay? Yeah. I mean, you're like, if, oh. if there's a tie, we'll, we'll set this now. If there's a tie, we'll go one optimum idol, one attention star. Yep. Okay. Deal. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Good. Yeah. All right. There you go, folks. Let's get to round four. <clears throat> Now we took another TV timeout, and Steve's like, oh, now I'm going to throw it slow again. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a little move. Oh, no. Is it a dust bowl? <laughs> you, you, would you get a little grease on the, on the lens? No, he went right in front of Oh, perfect. Hey, Jason Kelsey would be throwing Pabst Blue Ribbon on there. Yes. This weekend. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Does it look good? Yo, so, on the baby. board, shot number one. Uh oh, is it? Pressure's on. You feel any pressure? Uh, not yet. <laughs> yeah, my man says not yet. All right. SK taking advantage of the time adjustment, knowing he can do a little thing, and he's nice like, not boom. to start with a swing and a whiff. Let's let's so. smack him with a strike out the gate. I like it. Is it good? I can, I can accept that. I mean, we, we doubled the, the point value. SK is up one nothing through one. I mean, granted, it was a pretty good shot, but you know there was that nine pin still standing. So, be interesting to see what Simo's adjustment is off of that. I think he's got some tricks up his sleeve. I think so. Yeah. See if SK can uh, capitalize. Okay. There's oh, life. There it is again. Cuts like a knife. Cutting like a knife. Ah. Messenger flies around, coming forward. Ten pin stands. And like we said earlier, man, don't look now, but there's actually a chance for Simon to get right back into this one. The tie back up after two shots. No pressure. We're going to get this going a little faster to the right. Hopefully not fast enough into the gun. All right. Ooh. That, that was, was almost over the top. Ooh. I mean, that was that was I kind of a. It was looking like an over the top seven. I have to move our feet maybe, on the but, next uh, one. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. We are now tied one shot each through two shots. So this is the third and final shot. And again, this is a double point round. We're allowing Steve to jump back in the game if he can sneak this one out. No pressure, SK. No pressure. By the way, folks, this is what Hall of Famers do. They step up when you need it in, in pressure in crunch time. No pressure. Looking all right. Oh, 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 oh! He heard, Just the, a bit he heard the throw it to the right. Wow! I did. I did not see that one coming, and I don't think Steve did either. I what, did not either. What do we either. call that? The old commentator's jinx? That yeah. was. This guy hasn't missed a spare all day. <laughs> or, or a few weeks ago with the Cowboys kicker was perfect all season. And they go, man, this kid's perfect all season. All of a sudden, block miss, punt, going off the post. Yeah, it's. Uh, I guess that would be a commentator's jink. Uh, my bad. I, I threw that one out there. All right. So, so I guess that's the case. No pressure on Simo to try and trying to clench it all right seal here. Seal it up. Why that's a good pitch. one. Ooh. That was a Ten good one. Ten back vacuum style. Oh, my man. Always a so, pleasure.
Samos come in here for two challenge matches, he's undefeated. So I'm beginning to think my man here has got the home field advantage over the guys that bowl here every, every day. My man just drops in out the sky. He's like, hey, I think I want to bowl. Who you got? And uh, yeah, uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to put a scoreboard up here in the building uh, for challenge matches. Simo's now going to be the, uh, the all-inclusive leader at uh, two challenges and none. Um, guys, great bowling today. Cool stuff, learning a lot about the bowling balls, moves and different things like that. You know, Steve, you were moving even a little bit more there towards the end of those last couple of shots. Were you still chasing it left kind of thing or? Yeah, I think okay. you know, the last one, the only thing I just missed it at the bottom. It just okay. flew off my hand. Angles wise though, I mean, I clearly needed to be a lot left with my feet, have my angles more open uh, with yeah, the yeah. attention star. And, it, and okay. it was, I mean, it's, I, gotcha. I love the shape of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So, and for you, you kind of, what did your last couple of shots? Cause you know, you, you started with that nine pit and then you kind of, Oh, I'm going to make a move. What yeah, was your... I mean, with that Optima Idol kind of tearing up the lane a little bit, mm -hmm. Steve being a little straighter to start, but yeah. both of our balls getting to the same spot down the lane, that spot started to get a little crispy. Um, so for me, I just kind of kept slowly moving my feet a little to the left. Um, and then once we got to a certain point, we started leaving the nine pins, mm -hmm. or almost leaving the nine pins, uh, move my eyes a little bit to the right, and that seemed to do the trick. So you just kind of open up the angle down yeah, lane. Yeah, just as we continued out. Okay. As I moved a little left, uh, we slowly started to open up the angle a little bit. Okay. More, a little bit so you, you, as you're moving your feet left, you're moving your eyes that way, kind of you know yeah. creating a warm yeah, yeah. spot. So yeah, I mean, that, there you have it, and there you are. You know, the complementary pieces of two balls do two great things. We talked about where Optimal Idol is going to fit into our product line across our three brands, uh, different things. You know, like I said, we referenced uh, Summit, you know, Exponent, you got Phase 2. Now we're going to add Optimal Idol in that pocket. You know, we're going to have some different things. And then in terms of bigger ball, um, you know, you guys have already seen it and got it out there. You know, Attention Star is going to give you that option of, hey, you can kind of get in and kind of open up your angles a little bit. It's going to give you a little bit more room because that, you know, as we refer to a bigger engine, bigger ASIM core, both featuring AI technology, um, both creating great motions. And, uh, you know, if you don't have it in your bag, you're probably missing out. Um, but like I said, my man here, two for two, I, I don't know, we're have to, we might have to, you know, call a bullpen and find another, uh, <laughs> another challenger somewhere. I mean, don't make me, I, I might even have to come out of retirement. I mean, and that would be bad if I came out of retirement and I had to beat him, but um, I don't see that happening anytime soon. But uh, anyway, folks, thanks for checking with us. Um, be sure to check out these new balls. Whenever you get time, visit your local pro shop. And as always, on behalf of our whole crew here at Storm, we thank you for support. Thank you for all you do. And until next time, Roto Schlem, I'm out.